Today is going to be our last day sitting still. And I don't know how I feel about it. I'm going through a lot of mixed emotions here, but I know we got a lot of things to do. We've been around this property at Ray Outfitted for probably five or six weeks, in and out of the property, getting work done between here and over at my bro at Happy Camper Kits. And there's been luxuries I've had access to here, like shower, laundry, and all that stuff but they just seem like luxuries. Now I finally realize today why they put these facilities on the property here on the big green building at Ray Outfitted is so when we're done getting all of our work done as a customer, we can top up our water, clean up all of our bedding, do all of our laundry, showered, cleaned up, ready to go and on the road. This is awesome. <laughs> Because usually when you're traveling around day to day in your van, you got to seek out water, seek out laundry mats, all that stuff. It's pretty cool that when I'm leaving here, that we are literally 100% ready to hit the road. So today, I just plan on taking care of everything in the van, tidying it all up. Still got to rearrange a few things because after getting my bed frame and stuff built and a pull-up back drawer built, I'm still trying to figure out where everything fits in the van. I gotta fit the chainsaw in the rooftop carrier. Just little things that are gonna have to be tweaked a bit today. And we also have one more project to do. But while everybody's still sleeping here this morning, we're gonna get all our laundry done and give Cruzy Bear a bath. I've never slept beside a shower every single day for weeks on end. I feel spoiled rotten here. <laughs> it's so good, buddy. Sitting over there looking oh so sweet. You ain't buddy, you're having a bath too. <laughs> it's your. You're gonna have a bath too. I'm not really sure who got spoiled the most while we were spending time here. I got a funny feeling it was Cruz. Not only can I have a shower, he can have one too. But this guy had the full run of the property the whole time we were here, and even some of the delivery drivers got to know him by name and used to bring him treats with every single delivery. I haven't really had the chance to utilize this back drawer and figure out what needs to go where, what needs to be inside, what needs to be outside, and I think that's gonna come with time. So right now I'm just trying to organize it to get as much stuff as I can in here because I do have a few things that are on the inside of my van that I need to get out. <laughs> stuff like my chainsaw and just like my camera tripod and just a few other little things that are cluttering the front. I wanna make use of it right back here. So that means we got a tiny bit of organizing to do here this morning. I just finished putting my second down quilt on my bed and I got a funny feeling this year, I'm only gonna need one. You see, I was talking to my friends over here that have a dry air heater in their Sprinter van and they said they have really light bedding because that dry air heater keeps the van super cozy warm. So when I just finished buying new bedding for my bed, I planned like I normally plan for cold vans in the winter because not all the time did I run my propane heater all night so you got to be bundled up to prepare for the cold nights. Well, now that I got a proper dry air heater, I could set a temperature at 18 degrees or 20 degrees and it will stay at that temperature all night long. So I may not need my second down quilt, even though it's gonna be super fuzzy and probably feel really good. But I'm gonna have to play this out a little bit and see if I really need to have that excess amount of stuff. I might be able to get away with just one because one, it's smaller, it's thinner, it takes up less height on my bed, which is great for sitting up better but I might be able to get away with this and maybe just like a little throw blanket for an occasional chilly night if necessary. I'm gonna have to play this out a little bit. Big head. You guys see that little plug right there? I'm getting one of those on my van. <laughs> it's hard to see what it is, but look at it right there. 
That is a power plug input on the side of the van. You're next. Is my turn? Let's put a hole in your van. <laughs> Great. More holes. I think I'm the only one around here today that's still like rocking his pajamas. <laughs> little magic box right here, if you didn't see yesterday's video, is being mounted on the outside of my van. <laughs> Can I open it? Yep. An extension cord can't handle being dropped, then this thing is not gonna be able to handle being in the backcountry and take the abuse that I'm about to put it through. <laughs> hey, Cruzy, you think you can take the abuse? Get it. Hey. Get it. <laughs> so we're installing this little. <laughs> hey, who is this, Cruzy? So this is literally an extension cord. That's all it is, is one long extension cord with a really funky end on it. This funky end, open, is going to be mounted right over there somewhere. So I'll have shore power in the van. I don't know about you guys, but this kind of blows my mind. <laughs> it's just an extension cord. Are you kidding me? I thought putting shore power in my van was gonna be some huge, big, elaborate this is insanely simple, except for the hole cutting, but that's not my doing. With all the holes that have been cut in my van on this trip, you think I'm used to it by now. Yeah, I am not. I've convinced myself that the sound of metal on metal is the sound of change. Is convincing myself of that working? No, not at all. I just get this gut-wrenching, uh, I can't even watch. Nothing like seeing a ginormous hole in the side of your van. <laughs> Come on now. Somebody asked me the other day what paint I used to paint my van. Oh yeah, if you don't know, I painted this entire thing last year with 22 cans of this. It's Duplicolor Acrylic Enamel. All right. Cruzy wanted to go sit outside. He's just sitting in the sun. <laughs> There it goes. <laughs> My extension cord. All right, you got about a couple inches left out here, and that's it. That's pretty wild. So John gets all the credit here for bringing you Yukon ice cream. Yeah. Hey, ice cream? Chris, ice cream? Yeah. Want some? Hey, get it. Take it to a What you got, buddy? What you got, bro? Hey, what do you got, Kirby? What is that, buddy? What is that, buddy? So if you were to take a plug from the wall out there, plug it into the outside, this would have wall power. So what I plan on doing with this is, this is what's gonna be on the other end of that cable. It's a battery charger. I bought one, not this big, this isn't mine, this is Raiders, but I bought a smaller version of this one and it's being shipped to my buddy Ed's place in Manitoba and I'm gonna stop in there on the way back and visit, have some beers and grab my charger from him. But on the other end of that plug, you permanently mount one of these battery chargers. You simply plug this in to the other end of it 
mount this somewhere. So mine's gonna be mounted on the floor right behind the driver's seat. And then the other end of these come with these. You're not gonna put these on there because these will, they're dangerous and they'll fall off. But if you look on the inside there, it's just got this little eye hook there. You simply unscrew this from the clamp, toss the clamp, because I won't need the clamp, and this gets mounted to the positive and negative on my batteries. And this will pretty much just sit there, not in use, until I put a power cord to the outlet on the other side of my van, then this will turn on and charge my house batteries in those situations where maybe I'm doing another situation like this here where I'm getting some more van upgrades done and my van has to sit for a week with no solar and no driving and then my fridge with all my ice cream and beer in it's gonna get warm beer and melted ice cream which is pretty much I think a crime anywhere in Canada here. But having one of these gives me the ability to anytime plug in. And that little wall plug um, that's mounted on the outside of my van, they're pretty cheap and affordable. I think you can grab those things from Amazon. They're from a company called NOCO, also the same company from the battery charger that I'm buying for my van. But what a cool, simple, easy way to get shore power inside of your van. And this is the big one. This is like 26 amps of power. This is huge. It's a giant, giant unit. Um, the one I bought is only 15 amps, but you can buy these chargers super cheap. I think the NOCO makes like a $100 one that's like 5 amps or 10 amps, but it all depends on how long you're going to be plugged into shore power. So I bought the 15 amp version one because sometimes I may not be on shore power long enough to do a 5 amp one, right? The 5 amp one you could use if you're plugged in for like an entire day or more to charge up your batteries. This one here would charge them up pretty darn quick, but uh, yeah, guys, did you ever imagine that putting shore power in your van would be as simple as mounting an extension cord on the outside? I think it was pretty cool. Thanks for dinner, John. Oh. <laughs> Who do you want? You want my ice cream, don't you? Hmm. Hmm. What are we looking at? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Bunch of weirdos over there. Now this is one part of the trip that I'm really gonna miss, and that's sitting around having community meals together, whether it was breakfast, lunch, or dinner. We'd have a few beers and share a few stories. It was amazing, and for some reason when Madison's brother showed up those days, we drank a lot of beers. Crazy got the ball stuck underneath the hoist, so Rainer actually had to lift the hoist up to get out of the ball. <laughs> I really like spending time alone, but I really enjoyed hanging out with these bunch of weirdos just doing everyday van life things. Kind of like you guys. It's, it's 8.30. It's like bedtime right now. What are you wearing? Yeah, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? Van life, what's that say? Because normal life sucks. <laughs> I got that for them. That is actually from our merch store. Look at that. <laughs> this is huge. Not only on this trip did we make a ton of upgrades to the van, me and Madison sat down and worked on the website. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Everything you ever wanted to know about Van City Van Life is all in one place at vancityvanlife.ca. That thing is insanely huge. I never knew on my store, this is crazy to say this, that those came that big. When me and Madison were just skipping through my store, I'm like, they're how big? Like 108 inches by 80 or something like that. And they're like 75 bucks Canadian. I was like, no way. It is so big. It was a bit of a weird feeling backing out of this shop for the very last time. Knowing that I'm not gonna see any of these guys for quite a while. Well, except for Yukon Van, he's coming to Vancouver. We'll see him when he gets there. I'm gonna miss these guys. Right. We need some light back here. Just like that switch. <laughs> I love this, it lights up the whole back here. So now I can see what I'm doing. You 
guys see all that shininess beside my van? That's one of their customer's vans that was delivered today. Hold on, let me turn on my side lights. Boom, look at this thing. That's the next van that they're building. One of their customers just bought it and it's been delivered here by Ford. It's a Ford Transit Dually. I think this is the all wheel drive one. Super awesome. It even still has the price tag and stuff on the front. Just wicked. We're leaving here, buddy. Hey, we're not gonna see these guys for a while. We're going back on the road tomorrow, bro. Maybe we'll see Madison and Rainer next year, bro. Hey. A bit of a bittersweet moment right now. You know, I got, I got a feeling in my stomach. I don't know how to explain it. I told Madison tonight when I said goodbye that I feel bad for some reason. Something inside of me feels bad. Like I feel like I'm leaving the nest or doing something wrong. We have been hanging around here for, well, since August 15th. Believe it or not, the whole time I've been so excited to get back on the road. And now here we are spending our very last night here. And when I wake up tomorrow morning, we're back on the road tomorrow. And my stomach feels like, I don't know, I kind of become quite attached to those two freaking weirdos, that, that Madison and Rainer. I've been, it's been really great to have them around. And it's been nice to be able to relax in the hospitality that they've given me here. And uh, all the hard work that they've put in on my van, making it just so much cooler. I am definitely super thankful for for everything on this trip, for all the work Andy put in on our van and all the time that Madison and Rainer dealt with me and Cruz and all Cruz's humping and the dog hair that is spread all over this property here is ridiculous. Like literally you go outside and you can see his hair just riddled all over the black pavement out here. You definitely left a piece of them that they're gonna remember of you forever. I guarantee you when it snows, buddy, and the snow melts, there's still gonna be your dog hair everywhere. Hey. I don't know how to feel right now, you guys. I think we're gonna go to bed. Thanks for watching today's video, and I know it's a bit of a weird feeling. I don't, don't know how to process this because Honestly, I've been in my van for three years and I've never spent this much time with a small group of people in my life. Like Madison and Rainer have been in my day just about every day this whole time we've been out here. Then an entire week with Andy at the shop. Like I've been surrounded with so many people that it feels weird now to be breaking back out on my own. And it's weird because being alone is what I do. Being alone is where I feel like I'm the most creative or I feel like I'm at my best when it's just me and this guy on the road. But I've kind of really enjoyed my time being around people here. So Madison and Rainer, thank you so much for all the hospitality and the time that you spent here with us working on our van. <sighs> I'm a little emotional, buddy. I don't know how to feel. How do you feel? All right, you guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you like what we do here on Van City Van Life and you want to be a part of the bigger family, come on over and check us out on Patreon. The links to everything you ever wanted to know, including Patreon, our merch store, and every product that we have inside of our van is now all listed there for you guys on our website at vancityvanlife.ca. I love you guys. See you tomorrow.